Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve the ASI03.SYS error failed with error code 433, a device which does not exist was specified. So if you're coming across this issue on an ASUS computer, the ASIO stands for the ASUS Input Output. So it may have an issue with your system specific hardware. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into a potential solution here or a couple of different workarounds that you can explore. So first thing we're gonna do is open up a web browser. Doesn't matter which one. And I'm gonna have a link in the description of the video here, guys. I want you to copy it. And it's gonna be directly to an ACES web page here. So go ahead and paste that in. It should take you to ACES.com. And you want to go down and select the download button for the utility page here. So go ahead and select that. It's going to download some updated drivers to your computer. So go ahead and download the zip folder. And then we're going to go ahead and open that up and then run the installer file here. Select run. And if you receive a user account control prompt, you can select yes. Verify publisher should say Asus Tech Computer Inc. Again, this is made by Asus. And it is a verified publisher. Go ahead and select yes. Go ahead and make sure install Armory Crate is checkmarked here, and then select Start. You want to select I understand and then select yes again if you receive another user account control prompt.
So the installation is complete. You can go ahead and select Reopen App. You want to accept the terms of service and you will have to scroll through here first in order to make that option available and then you want to select next agree to the license terms and then you can select next next again and then close and then if you want to log into your ACES account you can access all the services so again hopefully I was able to help resolve the issue if you're still having a problem, you can close out of here, open up the search menu, and type in CMD. Best match, check them back with command prompt. Go ahead and right-click on that and select to run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. And now into this elevated command line window, you want to type in SFC, followed by space forward slash scan now. Scan now should all be one word attached to that forward slash out front. Hit enter on your keyboard to begin the system scan. This will take some time to run, so please be patient. Okay, so it did find crop files and successfully repaired them. Go ahead and close out of here and restart the computer. And hopefully at this point your issue has been resolved. As always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.